Title, Disparities in Pay and Allegations of Misconduct Among Bravo Reality Stars Below Deck Stars have claimed that they earn approximately $6,000 per month for their involvement in the popular Bravo franchise, while Real Housewives can earn up to $1 million per season. The income for Below Deck cast members varies based on their roles on the boat, with captains potentially making three times more than the crew members. The pay disparities have raised concerns among some cast members, with Ashley Marty from Below Deck Sailing Yacht Season 3 stating that they are treated unfairly despite being on TV. She described it as a situation where they are on the show but considered the help. Gabriela Barragon, also from Below Deck Sailing Yacht Season 3, made allegations of racism and manipulation by producers. She claimed that she was encouraged to drink alcohol by a producer despite having substance abuse issues. Gabriela, a person of color and a Latina, said she experienced racist microaggressions from fellow cast members, including derogatory comments about her appearance and ethnicity. Additionally, Gabriela reported a disturbing incident where a joke about enslaved people was made during a talent show for guests. Despite her complaints, Producers allegedly failed to reprimand the person responsible and instead told Gabriella to calm down. Another controversy involved Elizabeth Franchini from Below Deck Season 8, who alleged that a producer encouraged her to sleep in guest cabins with a castmate, James Huff. Elizabeth claimed that this led to her firing, while James retained his job. Bravo responded to these accusations by stating that they take misconduct allegations seriously and have implemented stricter guidelines on alcohol consumption, increased psychological support, enhanced workplace training, and provided a direct line for cast and crew to report concerns to NBC Universal. These revelations shed light on the challenges and disparities faced by reality TV stars within the Bravo network with concerns ranging from pay inequality to allegations of racism and misconduct.